review will be on the Mattel, DC Comics Multiverse, Suicide Squad, The Joker, Captain Boomerang, and Katana. That's right. I won't just be reviewing one figure. No, I'll be reviewing all three of these figures, and they look Awesome. Now, I was starting to wonder if these figures were ever going to come out, and I went to Walmart, and I saw them all three hanging on the pegs together, and I absolutely freaked out. So let's check them out, shall we? First up, the figure I wanted absolutely the most, purple trench-coated Joker, and check him out. He looks awesome. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, wouldn't Killer Croc have a problem with this uh, crocodile skin purple trench coat that he wears? Well, it's a little known fact that the Joker killed Killer Croc and he made this trench coat out of him. And all he had left over was this leg over here. Oh, poor Killer Croc. Yeah, that's a deleted scene on the Blu-ray, so be watching for it when the Blu-ray comes out. But anyways, yeah, this figure looks awesome. And upon looking at it in the package, one thing that I kept thinking was, you know, the trench coat's made out of that soft plastic that kind of, you know, just drapes over his shoulders. Well, wouldn't it have been cool if this figure would have came with some swap outable, you know, bare arms so that you could have had a shirtless Joker because he's barefooted in the package. You can't see that right there, but he's wearing the Arkham pants and he's barefooted. Man, that would have been so amazing, but instead we just got the trench coat on there. Now that looks cool and all, but it would have been cool to have the, you know, the shirt, uh, the shirtless Joker too. I think that would have been really neat. And another thing is he's missing his necklaces because he wore a lot of necklaces in that scene where he wore the purple coat. So I don't know why they left those off, but they did give him his cane, so that's pretty cool. So anyways, Let's look at the back of the package, shall we? So, here's the back of the package, and as you can see, it's got the DC Comics Multiverse logo. It's got his name up there in the corner. It's got all the figures in this line here. Well, I say all of the figures, but honestly, there's some variant versions out there where you can actually get the uh, Killer Croc to have a coat on, and that's pretty awesome indeed. Now, this back looks like this, and the variant packages look like this. Now, I say variant, but it's not really a variant. It's just you got a choice, and you can get all of these figures to build this one, or you can get all of those other figures to build the shirtless version, and that is pretty awesome indeed. Let's look at the front of the package one more time. So, here's the front of the package for the very last time, and like I said, this is the one I wanted absolutely the most, but honestly, the one I needed the least, because I already had the silver-jacketed Joker, and, you know, you don't really need two Jokers, but if you want to build the Killer Croc, I guess you need them all. And, like I said, this one looks really cool, and I cannot wait to open it, but before we do, I say we move on to Captain Boomerang! Next up, we have Captain Boomerang himself, and check him out. He looks like he just got in a fight at a bar or something. That is awesome. And then up here, you got the figure, and he looks amazing. Now, as you can see, he comes with three little boomerangs. He's got, like, the Feral Kid fan club uh, membership or something, because he keeps getting all those boomerangs in the mail, and he's got a silver hand over here, which I don't remember noticing in the movie. That's pretty cool, so I guess he needs something to catch those boomerangs with. Very cool indeed. And as you can see over here, he's actually got a bare arm of Killer Croc, and that is awesome. Awesome. Although, if you want the hands to have the uh, bandages on them, well, you're going to need this arm because that's the only way to get the bandaged hands. But yeah, this figure looks awesome. Does it look like Jai Courtney? Eh, it's all right. It looks kind of like Sabretooth, too. Now, I like Jai Courtney. Uh, ever since, you know, he was in Spartacus, he's really, really good, man. So uh, a lot of people criticize his acting, but just watch Spartacus. He's good in that. Holy crap, man. But anyways, let's look at the back of the package, shall we? So here's the back of the package, and you know what? Aside from his name up there at the top, it doesn't look any different. No blurbs, no nothing. And you know what? There's that shirtless killer croc, but I like the one with the jacket, so let's flip him back around, shall we? But yeah, this figure looks awesome, and you know what? I cannot wait to open it. But before I do, we have to move on to Katana. Last up, we have Katana, who is super cute, but also ready to cut your head off if you tell her she's super cute. Check out the figure up here. She looks amazing. She's got her sword there, and it looks like a little Tonto sword. That's pretty awesome indeed. She's got a lot of design work there on her jacket. She's even got scars on her belly and stuff, so that is pretty cool. And apparently Killer Croc told her she was cute because she chopped his head off right over there. And not only that, but she chopped off his torso and his crotch too. Why would you do that, Katana? That is pretty bad indeed. So let's look at the back of the package, shall we? So, here's the back of the package, and aside from her name, we've seen it. Oh, yep, we've seen it. Okay, looking at the front. Now, like I said, when I went into Walmart, I did not expect to find these hanging on the pegs, and I was very happy to do so. Man, oh man, this is awesome. So, before we open them, let's look at them all three together, shall we? 
Because I absolutely love all of these pictures of them. They look so cool. I wish these were posters that they would sell. Because, man, I really love all of them. I think this is really cool indeed. So I say we waste no more time and I say we open them. What do you say? First up we have uh, the Joker who looks... Awesome! Seriously, just pulling this figure out of the package, he's got lots of articulation and it makes me very happy. But, the way his feet are sculpted, he will not stand up. Look at the way his feet are. At least mine won't stand up. Maybe if you lean him against something. But yeah, the way his arches are on his feet and stuff, he has a very hard time standing up. And he does not come with that stand. I just found that and stuck it on there. But yeah, that's one bad thing about this figure is he doesn't want to stand up and he'll probably fall over during this review. But he does look good. I think this one looks really good. I love the expression on his face because the other one had more of a stern look on his face. This looks awesome. Now you're probably saying, hey, what did he come with? Well, he came with this purple cane, purple and gold cane, I should say, and this killer croc leg. Oh man, that looks awesome. So let's look at the figure from behind, shall we? So, here's the figure from behind, and I absolutely love the upturned color there at the back. That is cool, and I love the color of this coat. It's like very metallic purple, and it looks really, really cool indeed. Yeah, this figure is really neat and makes me very happy indeed. Aside from the fact that it won't stand up, but hey, maybe that's why he needs the cane. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that looks pretty cool, so let's flip him back around, shall we? Another thing that makes this figure cool is he's actually got the little mouth tattoo on his hand, and that is awesome. So, here's the hardest question. If you could only have one Joker from this line, which would it be? Both have pretty, really awesome outfits, and man, oh man, I don't know which one I would choose if I could only have one. They both look awesome. Next up, we have Captain Boomerang, and man, oh man, just removing these figures from the package, I am very happy with them. They are awesome. All the little details and stuff, the articulation, very cool. I couldn't even see this padding on his sleeve there in the package. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I love the Captain sweatshirt that he's wearing there, and he's got his little beanie hat on. That is so cool. Now, you're probably saying, hey, what did he come with? Well, he came with these three little boomerangs, which are very hard to get out of the package. Holy cow, man. Jeez. And then over here he came with Killer Croc's left arm. Holy cow, poor Killer Croc. You gotta put him together. Pull yourself together, Killer Croc. Okay, let's flip him around, shall we? So, here he is from behind. Now, the back of his coat, he's got a major upturned collar. Man, I really like the Joker's one, but this one is like Batman style or Spawn style or something. But anyways, check this out. The back of his coat is kind of plain compared to the uh, Joker coat because the Joker coat actually had a belt. But I'm, I'm assuming this is what it looked like in the movie, just kind of plain from behind there. And then down here you can see he's got some design work there on his leg. Very cool indeed. But yep, there's the back of the coat. Let's flip him back around, shall we? I do wish that Hasbro would have had the foresight to include a little stuffed unicorn with this figure, but hey, you can't have everything, can you? But, you know, if Twilight Sparkle's at your house, she'll totally stand in for it. And while I was posing him with Twilight Sparkle in his arms, I noticed he's got a watch on and a ring. That's pretty awesome. I love those details. Another detail worth pointing out, and I had to take off his coat to show you, but look, he's got a little holster there for one of his boomerangs, and that is awesome indeed. It looks like it's removable, but it's not. It's glued to his shoulder or whatever, but that's okay, because you don't want to take it off. So I thought that was pretty cool indeed. Let's move along to Katana. Last up, we have Katana, and she looks awesome. Now, one of the things that I did notice about this figure when I saw her in the store is... I think I got spoiled on that Amazon exclusive Harlequin because the Harlequin has like a thinner body or whatever, more of a girly physique. And when I saw Katana, I thought, oh man, this one's made like the original Harley, which is really big and broad and a very football player-esque. But I mean, that's okay. As long as we got a Katana figure, I don't mind. But uh, I do wish she was made with that thinner physique. But oh well, can't have everything, like I said. But anyway, she looks really cool. And honestly, yeah, she's got a lot of little pieces like put on her body. Like those little scabbards and stuff can totally come off of her sash. Her sash up at her shoulders feels like it can move around and stuff like that. And that is totally cool. So let's flip her around, shall we? So, here she is from behind, and I absolutely love that hair sculpt. It just looks so good. On the back of her jacket there, it's as if lost. Rick, please return to Katana. And like I said, that little ribbon thing tied around her uh, shoulders can totally be removed if you want to take it off. But why would you? But yeah, her outfit is awesome, and man, oh man, she looks totally cool indeed. So let's flip her back around, shall we? So, here she is from the front one more time, and aside from those little scabbards, which are totally removable, she also came with 
these two little swords here. Now, the bottom sword, the Tonto Bladed Sword, is totally bent up on mine, but that's okay, because it's going to stay in that scabbard over there anyways. But anyways, yeah, don't expect them to be perfect, but the top one's not that bad. And she also came with the crotch and torso of Killer Croc there and his severed head, which, if you put them together, totally makes the strangest build-a-figure of Killer Croc ever. So, here's Katana with her swords in her little scabbards there, and that is pretty awesome indeed. And I have to say, every time I see these little yellow circles here at her, on her lapel, I keep thinking it's the comedian's badge from, from the Watchmen. I don't know. But anyways, yep, I say we take all these pieces over here and build Killer Croc. What do you say? So, here's all the pieces I have of Killer Croc already put together and the rest of the pieces strewn about. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that he has one wrapped hand here on the right side and a non-wrapped hand here on the left. That's because the sleeved arms only come with the unwrapped hands. So you have to get these bare arms here if you want to have the wrapped hands on the jacketed version, which I do want. So I'm going to take those hands off and then put them on this one and see how it looks. So, after heating up the arms with the hairdryer, yep, an easy swap out, and it looks awesome. So I say we take all of these pieces and build Killer Croc, what do you say? So, here's Killer Croc completely put together, and I have to say, I like him, he is awesome. It's a great added bonus to get, you know, all of the Suicide Squad figures, because you're actually getting an extra one too, and that is really, really cool indeed. Now, I do wish that you had the option to have his hood up, since he wore his hood up a lot when he was, you know, dressed like this. And the only reason I wanted him, you know, with the jacket on is because he looked like this more in the movie than he looked like he was bare-chested and stuff like that. But you do have the option by using these arms and taking the coat off entirely, and then and you've got a totally different figure. So that is pretty cool indeed. So let's look at him from behind, shall we? So, here he is from behind, and there's that hood I wish I could flip up. Dang it. But, oh well, you can't have everything. Like I said twice before already, this looks pretty cool indeed, and he's nice and big and beefy. So let's see what they all look like together, shall we? So, here's Killer Croc with the other three figures, and I have to say I'm happy with the scale. I do wish Katana was a bit more petite, but hey, you know, like I said, say it with me, you can't have everything. But you know what? These do look cool, and I say we look at them up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super-duper close-up look, and we'll start with the Joker. Check out all his tattoos there, which makes me wish that he would have come with some bare arms. Man, oh man, this would have made a really cool shirtless Joker, just like the big 12-inch one. This one would have been really awesome indeed. Now, working our way up to his face, as you can see, he's got a different expression on his face. This one is like a shrunken-down version of the 12-inch one that I already reviewed. And yeah, he looks exact, except for the fact that this one has a purple trench coat over his arms and stuff like that. And the arm sculpts are different, but that's about it. The hands even have that little rolling stone mouth tattoo. That is pretty awesome indeed. Working our way down his coat here, you'll see all the little cracks and stuff in the leather. Very cool indeed. You'll see that his leg says Arkham. Sorry, it's so dark, but that's what it says. And then down here, he has bare feet, which is pretty awesome indeed. Again, I'm having to use the stand to get him to stand up. And ironically, this one, aside from the Killer Croc figure, is the only figure in this line uh, of the three that I just reviewed today that actually has foothold pegs in his feet. So that's kind of coincidental. That's very cool indeed. Maybe they knew he was going to fall over. So, here he is from behind. You can see the design work there on his hair. Very cool indeed. There's his collar up. Like I said, I love this purple that they used. It's almost like an electric purple. It's very cool indeed. You can see the little uh, flappy strap thing, belt thing on the back of his um, coat there. Very cool indeed. I love how they did it. Very awesome indeed. He's not wearing any rings or any watches or necklaces, which he should have came with necklaces, like I said, but I guess you could customize that yourself. But I do wish he would have came with the necklaces since he was wearing those when he got out of the back of the van in the movie. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have Captain, oh my Captain, we have Captain Boomerang. And check out the little zipper there. They actually did the teeth of the zipper. That is pretty cool indeed. Up here, you'll see his really cool facial hair. His eyes look perfect. His eyebrows look good. And they even got his hair poofing out there, behind, uh, out in front of his hat. That is so cool indeed. Yeah, I really like this figure a lot too. Man, these three are really cool. And like I said, it's a good way to end this line with, because I don't know, are they going to make more Suicide Squad figures? I don't know. Maybe they will. They haven't made everybody. I love his little glove here. That's pretty cool indeed. You can't see it, but he's got one boomerang in there. Well, you can kind of see it. It's kind of poking out there. And then there's the bottom of his sweatshirt there. Very cool indeed. His pants are kind of plain until you get down here, and you'll notice that he actually has a sheath taped to his leg with a little weapon inside, and that is pretty cool indeed. I love how it looks like silver tape. That is awesome. 
Now, looking at his hand, you can see he's got a gold watch and a ring there on his pinky, and that is pretty cool indeed. It kind of matches the Amazon exclusive Harley, because she kind of shops at the same store Captain Boomerang does, apparently. Now, looking at the figure from behind, you can see that his knitted hat here ha actually has design work on it. Very cool indeed. Down here on his collar, you can see that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, the back of his coat is very plain. That could be anything. A wall, I don't know. It could be anything. But, yeah, there's really no detail work on the back of his coat. But maybe it was like that in the movie. I don't know. Down here, you got the sheath again. Very cool indeed. Yep. I think he looks pretty awesome. I love that little tuft of hair sticking out on the front. Let's move on to Katana, shall we? Last up, we have Katana, and if you look carefully there on her chest, you'll see a scar, and that is a great attention to detail right there. That is very cool. If you work your way down here, you'll actually see one on her midriff, too. Man, that is cool. I love it. And then up here, she's got the little design work there on her jacket. Very cool, indeed. Looking at her face... Looks like she might have the scars on her face, too, or maybe mine just got a molding problem, but it looks like she's got it. And then up here, there's her eye looking very cool in the, the mask. Looks like it's all cracked up and stuff, and that is pretty awesome. Yeah, this figure looks cool, and I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I love her hair. I think it looks so good. This is awesome. Working our way down her sleeve here, you can see that it's got a little glove right there. Very cool indeed. There's her sword. Inside the sheath, there's the little Tanto sword right there. Very cool. Down her leg, it says, that you again, Tetsuo, that pea brain. But down here, down its boot. Uh, now, what's funny is her boots are actually really big. She's got some big old boots on her feet. Now, maybe you can see that, but those are like Don Martin boots from Mad Magazine. I don't know, man. I don't know why she's got such big feet. She's got, like, clod hoppers. I don't know. But anyway, she's got really skinny legs. As you can see, and then Clodhoppers, and man, oh man, <laughs> that's kind of funny. But out of all, all three of the figures, she's got the biggest feet, because the Joker has bare feet, and then uh, Captain Boomerang just has normal feet. Okay, let's flip her around, shall we? So, here's the back of her hair, and as you can see, she's actually got a seam there on her hair. That's kind of weird. That's kind of strange. I've never seen hair put on like that. That's kind of strange. Down here on the back of her coat, as you can see, it's got some more design work. Very cool indeed. There's that ribbon tied around her. Down here on her waist. I don't see any more scars. If they're there, they're hidden. I don't see any. Down here, she's got... Oh, DC Comics tattooed on her butt. That's kind of cool. Down on this leg, you'll see that it says, Akira! And then down here, it's got her boot. And that is pretty awesome indeed. And if you look on her sleeve right here, look at that. She's got a little kamikaze thing. That's pretty cool. I love it! And I totally almost forgot. Here's Killer Croc. You can see his jacket there. Looks like it's made out of his relatives. That's pretty bad. Up here you'll see his face. Now, when I looked at his face through the package, you can only see a little bit of it. But I did notice that a lot of the skin was like brighter green or something. I picked this one because it looks like more muted colors. But some of the other heads look like they were bright green or something in the package. That's weird. Look at that. He's got some dials there, like on a TV. You can, like, change the channels on his head. That's pretty cool. And But, yeah, this this looks really good. I love it. My only complaint about this figure, honestly, is that, A, you have to buy all of the figures to build them, and they were really hard to find, and then, uh, B, the fact that you can't put his hood up. But that's okay. And then down here you'll see his feet, which is awesome. Indeed! Yeah, this figure is pretty cool. Indeed, I love it. So, here they are all together, and hail, hail, the gang's all here. This is awesome. I am so happy to have all of these figures. I think they look incredible. Now, this isn't all of the figures from this wave or this line or whatever, but this is the main core group, as you can see. Add a couple of Jokers to the mix and about three Harleys, and man, oh man, you've got the entire line. And that is pretty awesome indeed. Like I said, you have to buy all of these figures if you want to build that Killer Croc. I guess you could... Uh, Hold off on the arms, you know, if you don't care about getting the uh, bandage tans. But honestly, if you're a fan of this this, this movie or this line, you're going to end up getting them all just like I did. And man, it's really hard to find them. But when you do, it's very satisfying. I absolutely love it. So, it took me forever to find the last three, but there's my review of the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Suicide Squad figures, and I absolutely love them. Yeah, there'll be better figures coming out, like the ones from Mafex on these characters, but you know what? In the meantime, I'm very happy to have these. And honestly, it makes me wonder, do you think Mattel will make any more figures for the Suicide Squad movie line? I mean, seriously, they haven't made an Amanda Waller, they haven't made Clint Eastwood's kid, and they sure as heck haven't made a Slipknot. I mean, come on, make a Slipknot at least. I mean, sure. Sure, he was only in the movie for a little while, but you gotta have him if you want this squad. So, until they make a slipknot, tune in for more... Foo! Reviews!